So I want to go over how to build a Shopify fulfillment and post-purchase notification, primarily using text, but we can also do this with email. So I'll show you both here. So this is an example of one that I've set up. And so now we'll go ahead and go through and build one. First, we're going to create the journey here. And then to send a notification for transaction is really simple, just like you would do with any other transaction node. So here we can say transaction, and then we're going to go ahead and take that and we can send an email. We can choose our thank you first purchase email. And inside of that email, we can use the dynamic content with name and that type of stuff. Um, so we use that and then we can say And be sure on these messages to keep them under 140 characters. It is a little tricky sometimes when we're using dynamic information to be able to do that, but kind of estimate where it would be. Um, if we wanted to, we could bracket in. First name. And then we could, so we can personalize that text message. Then hit apply and you're good to go on that one. And then for those of you that are using Shopify, which is this is primarily geared towards, is we have this Shopify fulfillment node. So we can drag this node over. And I can actually use this single node or I could use multiple nodes. It all depends on how I want to watch the numbers and stuff. For this purpose, I'll use mul multiple triggers here. So I've got my Shopify fulfillment and then I can send texts or emails with this but as soon as I drag that over it's gonna ask what would you like to utilize so here on this Shopify fulfillment I can execute this off of any of these parameters and these parameters come directly from the Shopify information um, so so for those that are shipping notification um, I would say label purchased and then hit apply and then here we can say and if we wanted to we could make item a dynamic field as well and then here I can call out the shipping company if you use multiple shipping companies shop Shopify allows us to do this dynamically so we can go ahead and we can pull in the dynamic field and, and this is what they would look like in the brackets. To find these, the best way to find these is go into your email templates and then just use the drop down for that dynamic content right now. We will make this easier to use in the future so that you can select those and have those drop down. Currently that's not available, but that will be shortly. Um, and so And then you can plug in the tracking number. And if you want, you could even put in the URL. So you could have all three of those in there. Um, again, check the character count because if you do go over 140 characters, it's going to push into a second text, which may or may not be a problem. That's up to you, but you would be charged for multiple texts. If it does go to the second one, then it's two texts instead of one. Um, so the URL may be a little long. Um, I, th I believe though we use a URL shortener, so that keeps it shorter. And then the tracking company typically is going to be USPS, FedEx, or UPS. It should just be called out like that, so that should stay short. And then tracking numbers 
are usually anywhere from 10 to I think 18 characters long so I know FedEx is 12 to 14 um, and I'm not exactly sure on USPS or UPS but I know that they're kind of in that ballpark so so you can use that as a reference as you look at what you want here so here I can say okay now it's shipped and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab the trigger again and if you wanted to send an email notify, notifying them of their shipment as well, you could send an email and create an email template for that too and have those both stem off of that. And so they would receive both a text and an email as long as they supplied their phone number. So if, they didn't, if the customer didn't supply a phone number, then they're not going to receive a text. On this, on this trigger here, we're going to say, okay, out for delivery. So you could do it in transit, um, but here we're going to do out for delivery. And this way you can notify your customer, hey, it's going to be there today, like... We just want we want you to be aware if you want if you want to check your camera or if you want to be present to receive it or if you need to ask a neighbor or especially if you're shipping like a food product and you don't want it to sit on the porch and go stale or something like that. So then you could do that one and then we can throw in a final one that just says delivered. And then you could use dynamic content to put in the item or the category or whatever. Um, or if you're just a single category shop, just say shoes, clothes, drinks, protein, whatever. Email template. We just go to email templates. Create a new template here. Select email. call it shipping notification and then here I can put my logo in whatever image I want and then if I if I want to insert here transaction related information I can go ahead and go in here and I can say and then let's go ahead and throw in another text box here And then you can go ahead and select the shipping company from the drop down, from the insert drop down. So we'd scroll down under transaction detail. And then we just go and select the one that says company. And then one that says I want to take the singular tracking number I think if you have multiple tracking numbers you can use the tracking numbers one and it will relay both relay those but then here I'm gonna just put two lines this be the easiest way to do it and then I'm gonna take the URL I'm going to cut out that URL 
and I'm going to plug that in as a URL around that. So now I have that, and if I wanted to, I could put that on a bigger line or whatever, but let's go ahead and make this. Let's just increase the size. Let's make this a little bit larger. And if you wanted to center it, you certainly could do that. And then finish creating out the rest of your email. You put your footer content or whatever you want in there. But there you go. Now you can dynamically come in, create this, and be able to provide shipping updates for your customers so you could create a series of those um, we will have these also built out as templates as well so you can go ahead and snag the templates i'm going to be able to use those for your for your content so there you go then you just we'll come over here and in our customer journey we'll go ahead and add those in and there you go that's that's building out a post purchase um, you, obviously, you could do more off of these. You could continue these going, but, but this will be live and ready to go to anybody as soon as they purchase a product from you and you're sending them their shipping notifications and they're ready to go. So hit us up if you have any questions. Comment below. We're happy to help you in any way that we possibly can. So enjoy using that fulfillment node. 